Now to the prom punishment controversy that has grabbed the attention of the entire nation this week. A Shelton High School teen who posted big letters on the side of the school to ask his date to the prom and then was told that he couldn't go to the dance. Yeah, school holding tough, can't go. Today the kids there pushed the school to let him go to the prom. News 8's Jamie Mira on the scene with more on what the kids did. Today's James Tate drama included an attempted sit-in and a new song. The uproar over the punishment of James Tate continues. I think it's crazy. That's what I think. But a new element to the prom drama, a song from a Tennessee band called The Superficials. Don't hate the Tate. He's in the big wrong. Everybody keeps talking about it all day long. You know, she's not going to change her mind. Not even an attempted sit-in Friday morning would sway headmaster Dr. Beth Smith's decision to keep Tate out of the prom. Students who attempted the silent protest quickly found themselves surrounded by school officials and police officers. It was supposed to be a sit-in, but all of 30 people showed up in and the gym Dr. and left, right, left immediately when they told them to leave. Yes! There was um, another officer in there, so like I think they knew it was going to happen. As school was letting out, Dr. Smith made an appearance before the media, clarifying what had happened with about 25 students earlier in the day. When encouraged, when the bell rang for the beginning of next class, all of those students did go back to class, so there were no disruptions to the school day. But the push continues for Tate to dance with Sonali, something he himself believes won't happen at all. I don't think they would gain anything if uh, they caved at this point. With all this media publicity, both national and international, all these students supporting him, all this talk of alternate proms, James Tate says he's just ready to put this all behind him. On the scene in Shelton, I'm Jamie Muro, News 8.